Shrubs that are native to Florida. There are numerous shrubs native to Florida. Many of them can be found in the wild and are frequently repurposed as decorative shrubs for yards and gardens. These come in a variety of different species, and most are pretty easy to care for, provided you live in a hardiness zone comparable to their native region. Here are the top Florida native shrubs for your garden or landscaping. Number 1. Red Buckeye The red buckeye is a tiny tree that rarely grows taller than 20 feet. The red buckeye has red tubular type flowers that attract hummingbirds and butterflies. This plant is well known for its dramatic display of clusters of lovely red flowers in the spring. It also has flaky brown bark and a coarse structure that complements a typical drab winter scene. It does well in partial sun and has a low tolerance for shade. The red buckeye plant grows in a variety of soil types and requires irrigation especially during dry seasons. It is ideal to plant the red buckeye in late winter or early spring. Remember that its seed pods are extremely harmful to humans. Number 2. Beauty Berry Beauty Berry is an excellent shrub for attracting birds to your garden. Beauty Berry is one of the many plants native to Florida, and it produces eye-catching vibrant purple fruits. Their deciduous leaves are coarse, fluffy, and light green in hue. The beauty berry, sometimes called as the American mulberry, is found in hammocks in the flatwoods. However, thanks to the birds, this plant has spread throughout many different terrains. This tiny and widespread shrub grows 3 to 8 feet tall and 4 to 8 feet broad. This size is great for a specimen plant and its branches form sweeping arches that bend to the ground. This plant should be pruned to keep it compact, but only before it blooms. Number 3. Coral Bean If you want something to brighten up your garden from spring to fall, the coral bean is a must-have. It is one of the natural Florida plants that produces red blossoms and attracts butterflies and hummingbirds. The seed pods of the coral bean begin to mature as the summer garden fades throughout the fall season. The coral bean resembles black English pea pods that open to reveal crimson red seeds inside. The plant is both lovely and toxic. As a result, keep this plant away from children and dogs. Number 4. Firebush The firebush plant is a semi-woody perennial shrub that is well known among gardeners for its floriferous flowers that bloom from late spring to winter. It has vivid red blossoms that attract hummingbirds and butterflies, like the gulf fritillary and the zebra longwing. Songbirds feast on the berries produced by the plant. The firebush plant blooms for months and is a very easy shrub to care for once established. Number 5. Florida's Native Bromeliads Bromeliads come in a variety of sizes and shapes, and the majority are tropical plants that may grow outside in frost-free locations. If you live in a frigid climate, you can still grow bromeliads in containers and move them inside when the winter season arrives. When growing bromeliads indoors, place them in covered patios that receive diffused light and are not exposed to direct sunlight although some varieties can work in a variety of lighting settings. Number 6. Native Azaleas Next to the list of plants native to Florida is a classic southern plant, the native azaleas. They are known for their structure and the fantastic blooms they produce, and once they are in full bloom, you can hardly see their leaves. These beautiful ornamental plants are perfect for north and central Florida landscapes, they come in various sizes and shapes, which are very versatile with any garden type. Number 7. Oakleaf Hydrangea This coarse textured shrub is an excellent choice. During the summer, the shrub produces huge cone-shaped white blooms that bloom for several months. The blossoms then turn purple or pale pink. Several cultivars with exceptional blooms are also available. Oakleaf hydrangea's large, dark green leaves are also oak-shaped 
hence the plant's name. When cultivated in the shade, the leaves grow the largest and can reach up to 12 inches long and wide. They are really attractive and would make a fantastic backdrop for other plants. During the fall season, the leaves turn crimson, purple, or bronze and remain on the plant until winter. Number 8. Hibiscus coccineus The flowering shrub Hibiscus coccineus, often known as swamp mallow or marsh hibiscus, is commonly seen in landscapes and garden centers. The flowers are lovely because they come in a kaleidoscope of colors. There can be single or double forms and most barely survive a day. The single form blooms are only present for a brief time. The Hibiscus coccineus, on the other hand, blooms all year. Hummingbirds and butterflies, such as blues, gulf fritillaries, and cloudless sulfurs are drawn to the plant. Number 9. Scarlet Salvia Scarlet Salvia is a native Florida perennial that attracts butterflies and hummingbirds with its magnificent tubular flowers that bloom in the spring and fall. The flowers are available in a range of colors, including red, white, and pink. This plant can grow to be four feet tall and looks great in any Florida-friendly garden. It can thrive in a variety of environments and is drought tolerant. Growing it gives you versatility because you can blend it with other plants, mass it in a border, or plant it in a container. Number 10, Saw Palmetto. The slow-growing saw palmetto is a native Florida palm tree that can grow up to 10 feet tall and 10 feet wide. It is a multi-trunked palm with thick stems that produce fan-shaped fronds that crawl across the ground. Although the majority of the plants produce green leaves, the hue varies. It can be silver or blue-silver in hue, which is popular in the eastern region of Florida. In the horticultural sector, these forms are commonly known as Zinaria, Glauca, and Cerisia. The saw palmetto is endemic to southeastern Florida, but it can also be found in the north and west. It grows in natural places and in the wild, but it can also be used in residential gardens and commercial landscaping throughout the state. Well, that's all for today's video, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button for supports our channel. Also, you can turn on the notification bell for latest videos from us. Well, see you in the next interesting topics.